So when we think about like JK Rowling and her idea that like women need this protection from some big bad trans person that's going to assault them in restrooms and stuff. Things like in this series, like Cersei, we saw it in Sea of Monsters, where she has this island, she protects these girls from men. And Artemis has these hunters where she's protecting these girls from men. It comes from what they think is a good place. It comes from a place that they think is, you know, like protecting something that they see needing protected. But it's so misguided that it ends up hurting more than it ends up helping. She's spending all of this time growing after a very marginalized group of people that are not the ones that are actually doing things to other people. And like what you were saying about the like female characters in this world kind of getting like benefit of the doubt, like Cersei and Artemis are not seen the same way as like more predatory men characters are. They're mm -hmm. just as bad. <laughs> They're like almost worse in some situations than some of the male characters that we're seeing, but they get like a pass because people think don't just don't see women as being like that. And that's what happens when you get so stuck in like that sort of gender binary about abuse. If you think that you have to be a man in order to be abusive, you're going to miss like super abusive women and girls yes. that are also around you doing these things that are just as bad, that are even harder for people to talk about because it's not socially acceptable for a woman to be the one hurting you. And so it makes it even harder for people to come forward about that sort of abuse. And it, yeah. it makes it more likely for it to happen. And so that's like the whole irony of a character like Artemis or like real life JK Rowling, where they're trying so hard to protect women from the people they think are hurting them that I guarantee you that they're missing people that are actually doing harm and they also don't realize that the things that, that they are doing also kind of fall under that category. She publicly accused them of being that and like sent a lot of harassment towards their way, predicated on the idea that they are, but they're not. And she's gonna get in a lot of financial trouble because she did that. Yeah, and she literally did harm to women in the name of this turfiness. Yeah, like other, how many other women who don't look traditionally like feminine watched that all happen and are now like afraid that like are, that people are going to think that they're not that they're trans when they're and like use that as a reason to attack them mm -hmm. like that's already a difficult situation and i guarantee you that especially black women have had that happen to them already the last few years and are afraid of that continuing more yeah. just because of how racist the ideas of what a woman looks like is and so it's like you're trying so hard to protect women by attacking one mm -hmm. and i guarantee you that there's actually you know predatory people likely in the turf like community that are likely hurting and harming other people that she would never notice because she doesn't think that they're capable of doing that in the same way that Artemis could let the worst person ever into the hunters because they're a woman and could be a horrible, like a, the female version of Luke. Like you could let the female version of Luke into the hunters and give them Im immortality so they can do horrible things to people and never die. Yeah. And I don't think that she would even think that they were even capable of doing that because she thinks that because they're a woman, they aren't capable of doing those things. And that's like, extremely dangerous to say because women are very much capable of doing just as bad as men are mm -hmm. it's like that whole idea that like trans people are somehow more likely to be predatory because they're trans and it's like that's not the every person who's trans is different from every other person your gender identity doesn't suddenly make you into a different person